those things kicking you in the stomach. Definitely. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oh my God, that's awesome. I want you to feel what it's like. Hold on. All right, here we go. There you go. This is how you want to see a fly river turtle. Yeah, albino red tails inside of here. Wow. Light fish, rip what the fish. heck? What's up, everyone? We're hanging out with Blake. And last time we were here, this was just a skeleton. It yeah, wasn't it was even done. Fun. So that's cool. 6,000 gallon fish tank. That's amazing, man. Yeah, what a build this was. Uh, very cool, and he's still got this whole warehouse that you're gonna build out. More fish, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I got more fish up stingers over here, baby air ones. Oh, right now, so oh, much right. going on in here, man. Yeah. Uh, we're actually here today because I'm gonna be getting some feeder quail, yeah. So, we're gonna go look at those real quick. But what's really exciting is we're gonna feed the quail to uh, a very raptor like animal. Yeah. No way, check this out. This is all right, cool. All right, so organized. Yeah, I try uh, to keep it where I have extra large, large, more large, mediums, and smalls. All right, so and uh, down if someone wanted to buy these, yeah, Blake's you know, exotic feeders. Blake's exotic feeders. Yeah, All right, and I think these are are these extra 30? large. It's yeah, so how much are these? Uh, I gotta look over. I think there's thirty dollars. Okay. I don't know. I have to look it over. Right, I have so a whole menu. I want to take two of these. Sounds good. And yeah, I get you. You have large too, right? Yeah, these are larger. They're twenty five piece. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll just let you look. Let me look. Oh, for you. All right. That's I cool. know all my grams and sizes that I've been doing everything with. We'll get. It's fun. I gotta keep my animals happy, and it's good to yeah, offer them poultry. Good. Yeah, for sure. So I'll get, I guess, a hundred dollars a piece if that's the right. Yeah, thing. large is uh twenty five dollars. All right, cool. And then we got. And then extra large is uh, ten for thirty, yeah, exactly. Okay, so thirty. All right, so there's ten of them in here. Or yeah, ten, ten and ten. 10 and 10. 10 back, All right, yeah. cool. So we got that. Let's get some small ones All for right. the smaller uh, or small. medium. 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 I think mediums will fit. Yeah. And then medium. smalls, there's a 50 packs of smalls. And then I oh, have... wait, 50 pack of small? Yeah. Let's do how much of these? Uh, I think oh, it's 88. Oh, it's 88 bucks for all these? Yeah. All right, that's going over my budget. Let me see. Yeah, 88 for 50. Like, I have 25 pack, 45. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm good. So we're good, man. There you go. That's awesome. All right, very cool. So uh, let me. You want to just leave it right here? Yeah, right we'll now? leave him right here. Yeah. We'll come back him up. But he's going to go get some quail. Yeah. And we're going to see a really cool species of birdie. Uh, let's walk over right over here. I'll show you guys what's going on while he gets the food ready. We're going to go in with these cassowary. This is amazing. This is, of course, an Australian bird. And uh, these guys can be pretty dangerous. Blake assures oh, yeah. me that these guys are okay at the moment, but there is a certain, um, I guess, threshold that he was telling me earlier today, he goes, his mentor told him that, you know when not to go in with them anymore when they try and knock you down. Because if they can knock you down, they can yeah. get you. Yeah, you don't want to go in there and fall down with them. They're still young, they're only two years old right now. Once they, I started prepping and making their enclosure, getting it all set and ready. Regulations really is only like a six foot fence. Okay. And it's like 11 gauge. I did six gauge and I did eight foot tall. Oh, uh, I hear you. I have a barrier for my back neighbors over there so they're not close to them. They're right. like big puppy dogs right now. And, and these guys, do you have a male and a female? Yeah, they're unrelated pair. Okay, so what'll happen is the males will get a cast, right? They both will get it. They both, both get, will get cast. massive cast. Oh, yeah. that's really yeah. cool. Big fruit eaters. I have, I can show you the refrigerator inside, the amount of fruit they eat. Yeah. That's why we have so many uh, boxes out there all the time because they eat a whole bucket of fruit every single wow. day. I already threw a bucket down to the idiot. All right, cool. So we can get in there. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is so cool, man. Are we yeah, feeding where else anything? do you get? Yeah, I yeah, believe this would be like the last year I bring anybody in. Here, so, in so this is it. You're pr pretty much seeing the end. Yeah, so of, uh, I have a door down there that I'm building. Okay. I'm making a slide door here and I'm making another door here. So when I need to work them, you know, clean the enclosure. I shift. can slide them, shift them, exactly. Got it. It's got to shift. Right, cool. You know, a lot of people don't do that, but I'm just doing that just to be safe because they're still. Yep, you, know, you got it. So what are we'll some do's and, what are do's and don'ts when dealing with these? Uh, nothing, just let them have their own space and let them do their thing. Don't corner them. Corner them, they'll jump up real quick and tall. Can they reach up at that size and kind of get to oh, the when they, when they play, they Look at the size ball. of their yeah. feet. This is what's cool. What I love about this, guys, is that we're looking at like a dinosaur, yeah. in my opinion. These are our legitly dinosaurs. 
you know, you respect them. They're good in Australia. People work around them with no problem. Okay. The only time they're really dangerous is when they have young or if they have eggs. They're very curious. They might not think they're curious, but they're always watching. They're watching your fingers yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I was just watching this. Yeah. This guy's looking. They know when I come in here. If I hold, I'll give you a piece of quail in a minute. If we give you some now, they start acting crazy. Okay. When you are talking first, we give you Oh, uh, that makes sense. See, that's pretty cool. Bunch of fruit trees in here. I have, um, uh, what's that called? This is cherry trees. I have um, mulberry trees and guava trees in here. Awesome. So they'll pick. Yeah, anything that falls on the floor, they'll eat. So in the wild, they're the biggest dis fruit, dis how do you say that word? Disperser. Disperser of fruit and seeds in the wild because if they didn't have, there will be no jungle in Australia. That's amazing. Because they eat the fruit, they drop it, and they go. Tons of fruit all day long. Very active animals. Yeah, they're all over the place. I'm running in circles. They're yeah. mostly really solitary, but uh, I have a few people that I know, let's see how curious they're, yeah. uh, that you know you keep them in your pairs with no problem. So rainforest animals, um, Look at those big claws. That's the thing you got to look out for. Um, almost like a full on theropod dinosaur, dude. It's like a T Rex or They'll something be completely like an Allosaurus. Jet black when they become adults, and their whole necks will be all colored and really, really, really pretty. And so they have they have these uh, looks like quill feathers coming out. Those are their wings. Wing. Yeah, that's their wings. Yeah. So flightless, clearly. Yeah, flightless. Um, Very fast. They can jump about six foot in the air. They'll kick a tree to drop the fruits down. It's real neat. Come, no way. Yeah. Come they on. can swallow an That's apple so cool. no problem. Dude, you do not want one of those things kicking you in the stomach. Definitely you know, not. They eat a lot of leaves and stuff. You see the eat greens and all kinds That's of stuff. That's so cool. Do they roost? Will they, they're, are they no, they're the ground, ground level birds? Oh, all ground. Okay. Yeah. So, and they're actually known to swim. They can swim across the river, no problem. Stop. Yeah. So, so there's no way of getting away from How them. do they swim? <laughs> the the, the feet are so big. They love the Get out of here. They roll in it. Like, just like tortoises, they roll and wallow and everything. Wow. So I don't want to get down too low, but what you guys think is a backwards knee, some of you don't know birds. You're actually, what, see how it just went down? He's actually on his, that's his ankle. That oh. first joint is not his knee. His knee is oh, higher that up. Is that's ankle. his ankle. Oh, wow. So I, I love how this animal's just, I, they make a little grunt when they, yeah. they kind of lay down. All right, so this is cool. I love that. My, like I like explaining the anatomy of the bird because it was, I learned that uh, maybe 15 years ago about their reverse awesome uh, joint. So you do have quail. Yes, yeah, so I have some defrosted quail here. And okay. as soon as I show them, their temperament completely changes and they just act like jackrabbits. It's crazy. Okay, here we yeah, go. like the gators. Oh my gosh. Dude, this reminds me of an old show. Some of my older viewers will remember an old movie called The Dark Crystal. And there were these creatures called the Skeksis. They had to have taken. Here. Yeah. So what do I want to do? Would those blank would those jaws feet? do any damage? Uh, it's a little strong, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Nothing like I don't have anything. He has it. Oh, my God. That's awesome. I just fed a cassowary. <laughs> Did you guys get that? Can I try it again? You're going to have to do it again. Okay. Get over here, guys. Come I here. got you. I got no, you. No, no, come over here because I want you guys to get the video. I want you to feel what it's like. Hold on. All right, here we go. There you go. That's Real a cassowary. Quick. They just take it and it is over. Look at their eyes. So they have like binocular vision as well. They can yeah. look in front of them. They're real neat. I mean, they're, they pay attention. That they're is smart. Awesome. They are a beautiful color right up close. It's almost like it's like fluorescent, fluorescent or- uh, So it doesn't hurt. Reflective blue. Doesn't hurt. I guess I gotta try that. No, he's smart. He knows. He, yeah, he, he dials a quail. Yeah, question. that's really cool. They're smart animals. Um, These are big. I love <laughs> the volcano. so young. They get six foot tall and about 250 pounds. Are they the third wow. largest? Uh, yeah. Are they, what they call them, a raptid? Rat a rat yeah. Ratatite. Ratatite, yeah. Ratatite. So I have three species. There's two more that I'm missing, but I really can't get them. You can't get an no. ostrich? Come on. No, I get an ostrich. Yes, okay. you're right. The ostrich, but the other one's a kiwi. Oh, a kiwi, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, right. cool. They're so, very endangered. Oh, no. So kiwi, cassowary, Rhea, emu, and emu. Rhea, and ostrich. Five. Yeah, five. So that's cool. So they're all in the same family. Is yeah, they're all on one side of the world. They, they're really the only ones in South America. Interesting. I, I have them over there. If you guys want to do a whole bird. Wait, you have a Rhea? I, have I was just going to say, oh, I've never seen awesome. a Rhea. Let's go check out yeah. a Rhea. All right. You don't want to get the Rhea's. You want to see a Rhea. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a little potty yeah. humor, friends. Potty humor. Blake, I'm an old dude. I'm yeah. an old dad. You're a young dad. Yeah. I got dad jokes. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any. No, nah, dude, stick with me, dude. They have a lot of annoying jokes. Those are African crown cranes, right? Yeah. One was loose in my neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 We totally caught one of those. That's awesome. They've got That's some. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. Look oh my God. Thing. Is that an ostrich? No, it's a Rhea. That's, that's an emu. Oh, that's an emu. And what do I know? Over there too. Emus don't have wings. Rhea's do. Okay. So previously, this was a goat gymnasium. Yeah. Yes. Rip it all out. I'm gonna make a big one over here again. I like that. That was pretty cool to see. Yeah, we see it. Wait, are these the screaming goats again? What are you? Oh, yeah. Jesus, man. Dude, dude. Blake's, Blake's house is insane. Yeah. Just like a circus. <laughs> What's going on with the dog? He's just excited. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, he's just excited. Hey, guy! He's here as a pen. Is that no, a bad thing? Oh my god. Hi! Very excited, man. Hi! He's awesome. Boy. Oh, you gotta like love nine animals. years old right now. Nine years old? How old are these lips? 15. Oh, oh, good for him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good man. I'm gonna go around the back. Don't kick me. Yeah. Awesome. Go ahead. This is the male oh. emu. The white oh, one is on the other side. Is this a bull? Oh, no, that's a cow. No, that's a cow. Yeah. That's not a bull. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. have horns. And look underneath. There's no tackle. <laughs> Come on, dude. Is this a bull? You're scaring me, Matt. I and told you the other day. Those are the Rias. Yeah. I think I do remember them. Hey, hi. Oh, you get a little scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Dude, are that's you kidding me? Boy. Big girls, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm sorry, we're here for the Rias <laughs> and Emus. Yeah, okay. so Emus are just, you know, they're big like dumb chickens. Everybody has them as pets. They're real great pets. I would love, I think I'd love one of these. They're cool, they're just real chill. The Rias are a little more skittish, a little wilder. That's yeah, the Rias. A little smaller. But they can be a little aggressive as well. Okay. Especially during breeding. Emus are real fine. They really don't do much. What was it about these particular birds that drew you towards them? I just, uh, dinosaurs. They look like yeah. dinosaurs, yeah. That you see the say. footprints on the ground and stuff, it's yeah. just dinosaurs. Like, That's, which one is this? This is an emu. He's looking right yeah, at Yeah, he's real calm. He's good. He will notice it. What well, actually, kind of um, care is it? Are they difficult to care for? Raising them was a little difficult, right? but some space and that's it. And they don't have to have that much space. They eat hay, they eat grain, they eat vegetables. Fruits and greens. You warm them once a year and call it a day. Do you just panicure? Is that I do uh, uh, ivermectin. Ivermectin, yeah. okay. Cool. So I put it like in a little purple ball and throw it back. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Yeah, he's fine. Oh my God! And they, everybody gets along. My little yeah. girl, Sophia. Hey, this. Sophia, do you think you'd like to have a little donkey, <laughs> or do you want a cow? or you want a big cow? Yeah. What do you want, Soph? Big cow. No, you know what's cool is I do like coming over here because I do love all animals. Yeah. And you really do have a, all a, sorts, all kinds of animals. Yeah. Right? Um, it's really fun for me because I'm so focused <laughs> on the reptiles, but I know what I'm good at. Yeah. You know what I mean, like. I definitely ventured everywhere. Yeah, you're all over the place. Yeah. Um, you 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 don't ever leave, do you? Not much. Yeah. Not much, but yeah. I can. You can. I'll figure it out. Wow. That's insane. It's a routine now, so it's not hard. As long as it's not baby season and stuff like that, it's pretty, pretty yeah. easy. Well, guys, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I'm getting licked. I must taste good. My denim's all right. <laughs> um, we'll let it happen. I hope you guys enjoyed these group of videos, man. It's always fun to get down here. It's funny, 70 miles apart. I haven't been here in many years, and then yeah. this year twice. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and we'll have to have you come up again Definitely. when you get Definitely. to free time. Come on up. Yep. Give me some ideas. I like wow. sharing with people that are... Uh, I love giving people ideas. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. He's my brain thinking. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, check out his video. Don't forget, if you want feeders, he's got quail. All got right, plenty. I'm picking some up, so I'm excited about that. And uh, there you go. So he's a one-stop shop. Yeah. I'm going to just let this cow keep licking me, and I'll see you guys again on another video. So long.